if the priests will uphold this message, then all people will uphold it. All men from every nation will be priests unto God because what they are doing is bringing every child in the future to God. The nation of Israel will be the first to cross when they read this message and realize that it is the sign they have been waiting for that I am their king. This book will be a memorial forever that God, the God of the Bible is real and that everything said in the Bible came to pass when the Holy One of God caused the unclean spirits to be cut off so men could enter the promised land. Now you know what the twelve stones mean. This book is the twelve stones, the real Passover lamb brought so God could pass over and bring judgment upon the ungodly. The twelve stones is the perfect message that judged and made war against all that is evil. These stones are so all people of the earth and their children and the descendants of their children will know that the hand of the Lord is powerful so that you might always fear the Lord your God. The tenth day of the first month is when the people will choose the one who wrote this message for God and that is Jesus and that only with him are you protected from God when he makes his Passover and brings wrath upon the unrighteous. This message is going to be sent to every nation so that every nation can set up God's government so that they can be part of his kingdom. These stones let the inhabitants of the earth know that God is our Father and that we are his children. This message has been sent down in the camp of God's people. I have written it so as soon as the priests stand up for it, God's kingdom will be established forever. You will do as I command with this message, priests. You must remain standing firm until all have crossed over, and then you and I will set up God's kingdom while the people watch. The people of God are commanded to hurry over because there is a whole lot to do and God has waited long enough to dwell with us. I want all fully prepared because as soon as you start crossing over there will be those that will want to go to war against us. That is why I have spoken the way I have to the Muslims so they are armed for us and not against us. They are to be our greatest allies and not our worst enemies. Their exodus from the old order of things to the new order is just as important as the Jews and the Christians. The Muslims that believe that we are the children of God and that Jesus is the firstborn because he is the first to acknowledge that he was a son of God shall pass in front of us. This will stop more fanatical fringes of Islam from getting completely out of hand when they see that the land has exalted me, even in front of their own people. They too will come to revere me also. Those that are the kingdom of Babylon are the ones we are at war with. I am not talking about those from the city of Babylon. I am talking about those that want to keep the old order of evil. I am going to convert all the Islamic nations to Islamic Christian nations, Israel into a Jewish Christian nation, and all the rest into Christian nations. The conversion of the Islamic nations will be absolutely necessary if they are going to be part of the kingdom of God or they will be part of the lake of fire. There is, their conversion is absolutely necessary 
for there to be worldwide peace. Their conversion will prove that Jesus is the Savior of all people. There is more in common with the King. There is more in common with the Kingdom of God and the Islamic nations that are theocracies than there is with any other form of government on this planet. And as soon as they realize what I say is the truth, the conversion of one billion people will ha happen almost immediately which will in turn cause all nations to become theocracies. Just because what I'm doing may cause a few people to want to come and do battle against us, it is no reason to stop God's kingdom from being established. You must not let their scare tactics work. All will come to revere me, because what I am doing is to the glory of God. Call it the Jordan, the Red Sea, or the Euphrates, or whatever you want. The unclean spiritual river of this world is cut off and dried up. Just as God did to the Red Sea, He is doing it again so we can escape the evil that pursues us. As soon as the priests cross over, the river of life will flow at flood stage. It will return to its place just like it was in the Garden of Eden, Eden before the fall of man. We just can't stop until we get to the other side. The hearts of the, all the leaders of both the business world and governments of the world are melting with fear. They don't have the courage to face us directly, but unless they do, they will be the flesh that gets cut off while the rest of the world gets circumcised back to the Father again. Now is the time for you to do as God commands them, so that they will not spiritually die in the desert. The more they fight us, the worse it will get for them until it will be too late for them to obey the Lord and they will die before they ever get to see the promised land and it will be their children who will enjoy the presence of the Lord and partake of the land that flows with milk and honey they have been trying to do things their way and it has not worked they need to quit fighting God and join him so they can be healed and if they do God will roll away his reproach he has intended to do. They are either going to be part of the kingdom of God that he has solemnly promised to give to those who call him Father, or they will be part of the wrath that he has promised to give those that won't. We shall eat the best that the land produces. The Jews have gone long enough without the manna, which is Jesus Christ. This is the Passover the whole world will celebrate. When I ask you, are you for us or for our enemies, you cannot say neither. Every eye will see him means every spiritual eye will see the light of truth that Jesus has returned. If you don't see it, it means you are spiritually blind and until you ask for sight, I am not going to gather you with the elect. My angels are those that have come from heaven with me and one of them is for you. Shout that you are a child of God and show him that you're sealed with the Holy Spirit so he will gather you instead of destroy you. If he finds you already filled with a defiant spirit of a demon angel, he is commanded to reject you and cast you out of my presence forever if necessary.